All right, we're back. You just missed a nice rendition of uh, Limp Biscuits rolling. Yeah, I mean, for not a Limp Biscuit fan, I sure seem to know the words to that song. Uh, you, it was probably when did that come out? Like that was like late nineties. Yeah. Yeah, ninety nine, two thousand, something like that. Were you in college then? No. Oh. I graduated high school in '01. Okay, so. Junior, senior, high school. All right. All right. Now, we've done this one at least once, if not twice, before. It is the Elysium Pumpkin Pack. And it is a treat. It or at really least is. it has been in past um, years. Yeah. In the, in the past years, these beers have always been solid. Well, you know, Elysium was from uh, Seattle, if I'm not mistaken. Seattle, Washington. Yeah. But they were bought out years ago by InBev. So they're bought out by uh, Budweiser. But Seems like some of the big beers have kind of finally figured out how to bring craft breweries into yeah. their fold without fucking them up. Like Wicked Weed sold them Their too. shit is still excellent Still good. Though. So then this has always been good. Uh, all these beers are awesome. We're going to start mm -hmm. out with uh, with the only one that I've found that is in standalone six packs. It is their Night Owl. We drank this shit out of this earlier in this season. Yeah, we had a few six packs. Mm -hmm. and we just went through mm -hmm. it, being that I found mm -hmm. this, uh, you know, this twelve pack. So Delicious. there is uh, there is a little spiel on it. Okay, Night Owl Pumpkin Ale, our award winning pumpkin ale brewed with pumpkin and spiced in conditioning with nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, ginger, and allspice. It is a six point seven percenter unfiltered, and may contain sediment. It says it right on the bottle. We're going to mix the shit out of this fucker then. What's this bee right. business? And, you know, we've already had this one this year, so we know that we this know is dead on. Delicious. You know, it's it, this is a solid beer, mm. and I am sure that the other four or other three will be delightful as well. Yes, we are. Uh, it's one of those ones that once you have it, you know what it tastes like. So when he yeah. would bring it in, I'd oh, say, oh, this is definitely the Night Owl. It has a nice color. It is definitely, oh, and you can see the flakes. You can see the in flakes there. in there. It's like so. Goldschlager. Yeah. Since we're talking about high school, <laughs> the flavor is a vomit. Mm -hmm. Goldschlager, God. Golly, it's just so good. So much spice, so much of the clove and the cinnamon and the ginger. Like it is unmistakable. It's that that's delicious. What this is. It's honestly one of the best pumpkin beers out there. Is. Um, it's got all, it hit all, hits all the notes. All the things that you want in a pumpkin beer. Yeah. Really pronounced spice, good maltiness, good mouthfeel, your favorite word. E. And some pumpkininess because there's a roasted element to it. It is fucking excellent. It is delightful. Well balanced, not overly bitter, not sweet, middle, just all the good things. Indeed. Big so, fan. Yes. Plus there's is. an owl on it and owls are fucking cool. Yes, and again, this is something that is not on shelves anymore, so you're going to have to wait till next year to get this, because I bought this weeks ago, and it's been sitting on the shelf over there, or the floor over there. Rory's been using it as a stool. He has been climbing on it a lot. Yeah, so, um, it really, I bought a case of Jacko, mm -hmm. and that's, you know, so this is what's been holding this up, I think. I've been drinking Jackos every day, you know, getting through those and stuff like that, but, and now we're into these. So we have three more to go. We have the Dunkachino. That is an awesome, probably mm -hmm. one of the best uh, oh, pumpkin. I'm really looking forward to the Dark of the Moon, the, the pumpkin stout. Spout, stout. And then they have an Imperial uh, version mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. Night Owl. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're going to get into these over the next three days after this and uh, knock these things out. So we got Christmas beers coming. I'm, I'm, oh, yes. I just heard that. Uh, for the first time ever, Sam Adams is going to be putting out standalone six packs of Old Fizzy Wig. So that is an excellent beer. Yay. We had it last year. Yes. And for years before that, they didn't make it at all. And they brought it back. So Good. yay for Sam Adams. Boom. All right. We're going to go uh, watch some TV. Yep. More murder shows. Woo. All right. We'll be back. Yes.